We're going to start off by inserting a script into the server script service. And we're going to set some variables to start off. So local rs equals game colon get service replicated storage. Local ds equals game colon get service data store service. Local store equals ds colon get data store save store. This is the name of the data store that I'm creating, but you guys can name it whatever you want. Just make sure not to change the name if you want to keep the data you already have saved. We also have local library equals rs colon wait for child library. At this point, I'm going to insert a folder into the replicated storage. And this folder named library will hold all the tools that we want available throughout the entire game universe. Now we're on to our directory functions. I'll explain how these come into play as we go through them. So local dir equals curly braces. And those curly braces just mean that we're gonna make an array, but more specifically, it'll be a dictionary. So now for our function, local function edit player comma list. Player and list are the two parameters that we'll require. And for this function, we're going to have a dir braces player.name inside the braces and set it equal to list. Basically what that does is that uh, it creates a dictionary entry with the player's name as the key and the list of the player's tools as the value. Do note though that the list is composed of string values, not the actual tools themselves, so it'll look something like that. We have our setup function, local function setup player comma list, same parameters. And uh, we have a loop to start off. So for i equals one number list do for that's saying for every for every entry in that list, for every item in that list, we're gonna do something. And that is local tool equals library colon find first child parentheses list braces i what that does is it finds the tool with the corresponding name instead of the library using the name of the tool in the tools list of that player local tool we've set what that is and so if the tool exists if tool then we want to make a clone of that tool so local clone equals tool colon clone parentheses clone dot parents equals player dot backpack so put that clone of the tool inside the player's backpack else if the player doesn't well if the if the tool isn't in, in the library when it's supposed to be then we're gonna say list i so that's the string value the name of the tool dot dot to concatenate the uh the string values together dot dot uh, um, not found now for our player events please just follow along for now and i'll explain how this works after we're done with this section so game dot players dot player added colon connect parenthesis function parenthesis player closing parenthesis end when the player is added, when a player is added to the game, we want a variable here, local ready equals false. So by default, the player is not ready. And we have another event to put in. So player dot character added colon connect parenthesis function parenthesis char short for character closing parenthesis and end. Once a character is added, player's character is added we'll need a few variables so local bp equals 
player.backpack local data equals nil, so data does not exist by default. If ready equals false, if the player is not ready, then ready equals true. But after that, we're going to set um, the value for the data. Data equals store colon get async parentheses player dot user id uh, this is the get async function for the data store service and basically this is the player's unique key and if data actually exists if uh, the player actually has something stored in the data store then we want to set up the player using the function that we created earlier Right over here, we had two parameters, the player and the list, so we'll add that here. We have the player, and in this case, the list is data. We also want to edit the directory. We have that function right here, same parameters. So player, comma, data. Let's take a look at this. This is our conditional statement, and it ends there. That's another conditional statement, and it ends there. So this is basically the end for the character added function. And so right before that end, we have yet another event. This will make use of the character added's parameter right here. So char dot humanoid dot died colon connect parenthesis function parenthesis. And we have our end right there. So once uh, the player's character dies, then we want to do uh, char.humanoid colon unequipped tools, parentheses, and local old equals player dot starter gear colon get children for i equals one, number old do old braces i colon destroy, parentheses. And you can just copy that, paste it, and change old into new. And instead of starter gear, we'll change it to backpack. Also, instead of destroying every tool in the backpack, do new braces i dot parent equals player dot starter gear. After the end for that. Um, died event we still want to leave these two ends at the end because we're going to we're going to need this BP variable right here so we're gonna add our code right before the end for this character added event right over here now we have an adjuster section here you'll see how this comes into play as well local uh, counts equals zero by default and a local function adjust parenthesis if char.humanoid.health is greater than zero then this conditional statement is important because um we don't want to wipe the player's saved backpack just because the tools in the backpack are removed by default upon death so after that local list equals curly braces and local equipped equals char colon find first child of class parentheses tool so equipped is a tool that um, the player may have equipped if equipped if something is equipped then table dot insert parentheses list equipped dot name Not sure why there's an extra parenthesis there. Basically, we're going to insert the value of um, the equip tool's name into the list right here, and this will be the list of tools. We also have local tools. The tools inside the backpack equals BP colon and get children, so all the tools inside the backpack, and for each one, so for I equals one comma number tools do 
table.insert um, tool, no, list actually, list, comma, tools, brackets, i, dot name. So we're also going to insert the tools, the name of the tools inside the backpack into the list right here. And uh, another conditional statement. So if count does not equal the length of the list that we're building up right here, through these table insert functions, if the count is not equal to the number of the list, um, then we want to edit the directory player comma list, and we want to set the new value for counts. Count equals number list. Now we have our child events bp.child added if a child is added to the backpack colon connect parentheses adjust and we're basically connecting the adjust function to the event of the child a child being added to the backpack you can just copy and paste that for child removed and we also want to make sure that we have an event connected for char dot child added colon connect parenthesis function parenthesis child enter and if child dot class name equals tool then we want to call the adjust function and let's just copy and paste that for child removed Because we don't really need to adjust when it's not a tool that's being added or removed. Finally, after all those ends, let's have a function detect when a player is leaving the game. So, game.players.player removing colon connect function player store colon set async parenthesis player.userid, so the key for that data store, comma, dir, braces, player.name. And remember, player.name is the key for the dictionary, and the value should be returned by this right here. The value should be the list of the player's tools, and that's what we're going to save using set async to the player's user ID as the key of the data store if that makes sense. So, after we've uh, saved that, we also want to clear the entry of the player's name and the directory that we have locally set up. So, dir, col dir brackets player.name equals nil. So, we've destroyed that entry. And now, we're not quite done yet. We have a uh, safety section right here. And basically, all you need is game colon binds to close parenthesis function parenthesis wait three. You can also make it wait longer, it's really up to you. With this binds to close function, we'll give the server enough time to actually save the values using data store. What I'm doing right here is copying tools into my backpack and rejoining. The tools do save. And when I throw some tools away and die, I don't get back the tools I threw away. When I enter an actual server, I have the same tools that I left within Studio. And when I lose connection and rejoin, the server still seems to have the most up-to-date info on my backpack. 